Hello, my name is Professor David Brodsky, uh, and I am the um, chairperson of the Department of Hebrew and Judaic Studies. Uh, and we also run the uh, Hebrew language program and the Yiddish language program. And I am here today with our guest star, Professor Beverly Bayless, um, who is both our uh, main professor of Hebrew, uh, of Hebrew language, and she is also, uh, she teaches in the Judaic Studies Department. She teaches uh, two courses for us, one on Israeli literature and the other one on Gullans, Diviks, and the Supernatural. Uh, this coming fall, uh, fall uh, 2021, she is going to be teaching uh, a course with us. Uh, she's going to be teaching Hebrew 1001, uh, elementary, uh, elementary Hebrew one. Uh, is that the exact title? It's elementary Hebrew one. <laughs> um, and so uh, by way of introduction, um, Professor Bayless, uh, so tell us a little bit about the class. You know, what, um, what do your Hebrew classes look like? Um, you know, what's, what's your approach to teaching Hebrew? Great. Uh, thank you, David. Um, I, uh, in my classes, I like to create a very um, comfortable and laid back environment so students feel comfortable learning the language. And, um, and that entails um, a lot of interaction. So um, while I will like introduce new topics um, to the class at the beginning, um, I will then like break up students into smaller groups a lot of times and students get to practice the new material. They can um, do exercises together in the book or have short conversations with each other um, and practice that. Or they can also, um, I, sometimes I have students do uh, like little skits where they, they act out certain scenarios and um, so in other words, there's a lot of group work and then like we share among each other. And, um, and I know that it, learning a language, it just, you know, one has to use it a lot. And so the, the class gives a lot of opportunity for that. And as a kind of like side effect of this, um, what ends up happening is that students actually become friends with each other because like they're sitting and talking with each other a lot. So in Hebrew, so, um, and students have noted that in their uh, course evaluations, they're like, oh my gosh, I made friends. So, um, so, so that's, you know, that, that's what I try to do in, my, in the class. That's great. So who should take this class? Who's eligible? Who, you know, who, who's your target audience? Right. For Hebrew 1001, it's a very uh, elementary course. So it's really intended for students either who have absolutely no background in Hebrew, they've never thought about it, they've never looked at it. Um, and, and then so for those students, and then also for some students who uh, might have some kind of background, like they might know the alphabet or have, have, you know, encountered it in different areas of their lives before, but that really don't feel comfortable speaking it. Mm -hmm. um, and I or, you know, like reading anything substantive. And so it's it's really for them. Um, and who is not eligible is anyone who has taken a Hebrew Regents exam or who has, you know, like a, a solid background in Hebrew. That, that that would be too easy for them. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and what kind of credits do students get? Um, which requirements does it fulfill? Right, so um, both Hebrew 1001 and then the, the next course, 1002, they both uh, fulfill the LOAT require, requirement, the um, language other than English that uh, all students need to graduate from Brooklyn College. Great. Um, and so how's learning Hebrew at Brooklyn College, uh, you know, unique or different from learning Hebrew in other settings, you know, um, such as like a yeshiva or a Hebrew school or that sort, that sort of thing? Um, what I really love about teaching at Brooklyn College is that, um, and teaching Hebrew in a college setting is that, especially in a place like Brooklyn College, is that I, there's such a wide diversity, a rich diversity of students from different backgrounds, different cultures, different religions. And so a class will have people from all different kinds of places. And this makes for a really interesting learning environment. And it also, what I like about teaching at Brooklyn College is that students choose to, to study Hebrew for all different kinds of reasons. Some students like to learn Hebrew so they can go to Israel and speak Hebrew. Others like to connect with relatives, you know, family members. Other people study Hebrew um, to connect with friends and or people they work with. And so there's all these different reasons. And some anecdotes are that um, one of my students uh, from the past, she was originally from Russia and she decided to take Hebrew because she worked uh, in a, in a, with the elderly. 
with mm -hmm. it. And, um, and one of the women that she worked with was a Hebrew speaker. And so she learned Hebrew so she could communicate better with her. And That's then great. another um, student of mine was a, uh, is an Arabic speaker. And she uh, decided to take Hebrew because her best friend is Israeli. And then her best friend made the same agreement and she studied Arabic, um, also at Brooklyn College. So, um, so what I like about that is that, uh, that students take this language also like really to communicate and to connect with each other. And I think it makes for a really dynamic and interesting learning environment. That's great, that's great. So probably the most important question, what should students expect to come away with after Hebrew 1001? You know, how much Hebrew will they know? Um, what I always find very surprising at the end of the semester, even from taking like this one elementary class is how much students actually can learn from, from just, you know, one semester even of Hebrew um, where students come in, you know, not being able to say much at all. And then they can really have like short, you know, simple conversations with people and, um, and, and have the confidence to do that. And some students share stories that they, they'll, they'll hear Hebrew on the subway and, you know, before COVID and, um, and that then they feel suddenly comfortable to kind of be like, oh, hi, you know, and to like talk to even strangers. Um, and then uh, during, for the last class of each semester, um, part of the final exam is that uh, students work with each other creating skits and they have time to prepare beforehand and then they perform it for the last class. And sometimes like they're really just so amazing that I, I really feel like I'm in Israel, like just hearing people speak Hebrew and, um, and they can make it very funny and there's a lot of like laughing and, um, and you know, while what they're saying, I mean, it's not, you know, this very high level, you know, it's still like they're communicating and it's happening and that, that they're speaking Hebrew. And so I think that that's uh, like, I always feel very proud and very amazed. And I think that they surprise themselves sometimes with how much they've learned. That's fantastic. So there you've heard it. So come study uh, Elementary Hebrew 1, uh, Hebrew 1001 with Professor Bayless here at Brooklyn College in the fall uh, uh, fall 2021. And